hello friends welcome back to error solution in this video i will explain how to import excel data from a table using laravel 11 means database tables so i already installed laravel 11 also i already created a database table means database inside a tables and also i have done env file inside a connections okay so you are running your ongoing project so you already done like this step i think so okay so what we need for the laravel 11 inside excel import so first we need to install the plugin so i already get uh, which plugins are based so just you can search inside google like uh, excel laravel you can search like this google so you can find out like a first link you can click here so is a official website like a uh, laravel excel and inside you can click on the installation so here you can see it like a command so before we can start install command you are new in this channel other in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy any script so just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it and do you want to develop as a freelancer work just contact skype telegram and whatsapps okay so let's start now so you can see it is installed done laravel 11 8.2 php versions all thing done and also i have created one file like a import excel create new routes inside you can see it. i will show you but first we can short out like a installation command suppose you are using laravel 11 so you always use like a this command like a version wise no need to use without versions so just copy for this one some place is working like another developer trying is working so it's good but suppose you are new you don't know how to install so you can follow my step so 100% you get the solution suppose you can try directly so is not get the solution is working so it's good suppose not working so i don't know so just follow my step just copy this command and you can open your, ter open your terminal i have already opened my terminal you can see it here and also you can see it here like a path of the terminal just i paste and i press the enter let's open the composer.json you can see it here so met website excels is installing okay here generate the errors so error generate so we need to use like a git ignore sorry ignore platform okay just copy and here you can like a paste and again press the enter suppose generate the again error so you can ignore this is the reason i told you you can op install as a command wise you can see is working very well now no any issue suppose your side under the issue so you need to fix otherwise good so my side is working very well suppose one error generated because of the package is not unable in my server this reasons suppose package unable so not generate like this errors so let's uh, wait some few minutes more after installing done now you can see it coming soon all done no publishables resource for tax laravel assets okay now done suppose i am going to composer.json file so you can see it here is the versions available before available because of we are go is already started to install this reasons okay so install done now i will show you my routes web.php inside i already create one routes import excel import excel go to app http inside user controller here you can see it also one view resource inside views and here you can see it import excel file so means all setup already there like action here there multiple data already there files already there here you can see excel file there and here is a upload button there and i have already open here you can see it here sorry not here here you see now we need to select the file so i already create my one csv file other excel file whatever your file i already created here files you can see it here so i can choose these files and i will save so whatever data there inside users tables means uh, excel sheet inside i can show you okay and uh, we need to store inside a database means users tables so i already used like a name email and password so let's go to web.php first we need to create a post method so my action url is a null means the same url so same url i will create as a post just go to web.php files and i will create a 
copy paste URL and here I can change like a import Excel post and here also I can change like a post. Now I will create a new function inside a user controller. Just go to user controller and I can create a new function. Resources dollar request. Let's type the spelling request. Okay, let's make a DD all so we can check is a received all cannot received all. Okay, just save these files and just go back again and I will choose the files and I just click on the uploads. So you can see Excel files available means working very well. This thing I think you already done your end. Okay, so here we need to write like a Excel import command means uh, Excel in Excel file data get and we need to store inside uh, our database table. So we can go to back our official like a Laravel Excel. So inside Laravel 11, we don't want to use anything. I can tell you again inside Laravel 11, we don't want to setting anything. Just we need to install this command after it to close. No need to do anything. Here you need to write simple script like an import script. So what we can do it like Excel import. So first we need to create a one file. So how to create file is a already available one command. PSP artisan make import user import. Whatever do you want to provide your file name you can provide here. But like a PSP artisan make is a import is a always need. Let's clear and I can put here command and after I press the enter. So taking few seconds and file has been created. So you can go to imports here you can see it import user imports you see so here also file is available let's close this file we don't need so no need to confuse also no need now it's file created so we need to use means we need to declare here so app slash import slash your file name like a user imports so file name is created done. Now we need to use Excel. So always you need to declare here use Excel. Okay. Now Excel's import. And we need to provide a file name like a whatever file you created. So here I create like user imports. And we need to pass here. After we need to provide like your file. Whatever you selected inside a form. Request file. And you need to provide like file name. So my file name is there. Excel file. So just copy and I can put here. Okay. Now I am going to user models and I will make it DD. So I can understand it's working, not working. So I just make it DD. So let's save these files and just go back again and refresh the page. Means control F5. So whatever form inside data there. So automatic work inside a Laravel. So sorry, inside a Firefox. So here you can see the item, you can find out three. So first name, email, password is the first column. Second column you can see is the data. And also third column also you can see data, you see. Let's open the user.excel file. So you can see what I did inside Excel. So name, email and password, this is the headers. And after your data, I already add like two data. This reason you are like lots of data, we have no issue. Let's close these files. Okay. Now we need to save inside a database table. So first we need to install new library here. Means the implements new library. So which library we can use like a two models. Because of we need to use like a one by one data get. We don't want to get all data at a time. So just we can use like a two models. And here you can declare. Next one we need to like a one function model and inside I can provide like array like we need to get a single array and whatever variable name do you want to like you can put here this reason now I can make here dd also okay so let's see what I received here let's some zoom out so you can see it clearly let's save these files just go back again press ctrl f5 recent so you can see you can receive like a zero inside a name, one inside email and two inside password. So what we can do, we need to declare here our users model and users model inside we need to save all the data. 
so simple here you can use like use app slash models slash user let's open also excel file so i can told you what validation do you needs okay so here we have declared like our model so simple first header we don't want to use like a name email password we are getting here so we don't want to use so what we can do we need to create new private variable simply whatever place do you want to like you can create private one variable and you can provide like your name whatever do you want to like i can provide like a current okay and is equal to zero so first you can going back to call this model so i can plus plus means dollar this current plus plus after what i can do if dollar current less than means greater than is equal to one means greater than is only greater than equal to greater than equal to one whatever you can say like you can see it here is equal to one so going to inside and here you need to write your coding about the data let's make dd so you can better understand okay let's go back and press ctrl f5 so whatever data here there is automatic resend so you can see first record found now not found the header record because of we have already made plus plus now also we have make like a one count no need a zero this reasons now here you need to save this data in your database so simple you can create a new variable use new user then after you can do it like name is equal to so zero inside their name so you can put it here zeros after is the email there so one so you can put here ones and next one is the password there so you can here we can use like hash this is the laravel this reason you can use like this yes make and here you can do two and also you can change your password okay and also you can save okay let's here declare use hash okay let's try it's working not working and after we can check our database table right now you can see it here like a name email and only passwords another field there but we are not using let's press ctrl f5 and press resend so put error there so you can see it here no any error okay not found data what's the problem new users let's see he's going to here cannot going to here i make like names email let's make it row dd okay i think i forget to save this file this is the reasons okay let's go back again press ctrl f5 again and resend and i just refresh okay violation duplicate entry okay oh, sorry i am checking like under another database we change check like a export import excel sorry about that just go to users so you can see already there here you see because of here is a violation said duplicate entry this reason suppose i removed a sorry about that i show like a different database but our database is like a export import excels i just remove now okay let's press ctrl f5 again and resend so you can see your data found you see so import working very well now you need to put like a duplicate entry so just you can put like count i can show you this is the issue not generated for the users table so you can make like a where is very quick i can do okay emails like this emails like a, inside of one you receive this email and here you can put like a count and after you can make like if empty so going to inside otherwise no need to go inside so this is the error generated for the violation so impossible generate the errors let's go back again refresh the page not to refresh means control f5 you can resend so you can't found the error and also you can't found the data here let's open my excel sheet and i can add like a test 3 and i can do like a test 333 at the red gmail.com 
and password of one two three four five six whatever do you want to like you can do it okay one two five four five six whatever there just save these files and press control f5 no no need to press control 5 just refresh and you need to select again file okay because i have a change what the two data there inside database so we don't want to do support one record is not there so we need to save this reason i show the validation imports so just go back again so you can see it is working very well after you can do it like a user controller inside you can make like return redirect return redirect back like this so once import done after automatic back let's delete three records and we can import again so you can see it here refresh the page and i browse and i just select the file again and uploads so you can see automatic back here also you can pass the flash message also possible but this is the your project you can do it here you can see it import done so i hope you are clear how to import data inside a excel sheet means excel sheet to how to import data inside a database tables users tables whatever tables do you have there you just need to use here okay but just mainly how to get the data how to remove header so i show you everything in this video okay and do you have any question so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions